Hey guys, who doesn't like toys? Handy toys, actually, this one. The battery monitor. I'll tell you more about it in a sec, but I was just sitting here this morning having my breakfast and looked out the window, saw the vehicle about 10 metres away. Thought, oh, I wonder what that battery's on. So we've got the app on both phones. So hopefully this works because it'll only connect to one at a time. Um, so if you pick up the one that's connected, then the other one won't connect, if you know what I mean, unless you disconnect Bluetooth, whatever, switch it off. Uh, so let's see what happens with this. There you go. Looks like it's connected. Now this is from iDrive. Um, can't remember exactly what it's called. It's a battery monitor. They're like 59 bucks retail. It's really easy to install. Um, you know, I don't like things that are difficult and that are unreliable, whatever. Now this is really simple. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, I thought too good to be true. I'm sure there's other things around, but um, it's putting the iDrive unit on the throttle of the 150, so I thought, well, try the um, battery monitor as well. And I'm really impressed. It's a nice little toy. So you can do a number of things. I'm not going to give you a run through the whole thing. It's a no-brainer, mate. 59 bucks. You probably get them a bit cheaper, you know, so other sellers sell things a bit cheaper on eBay or whatever. But basically, I've had it working up to probably at least 30, 40 metres away when the bonnet's open, because the unit's obviously connected to the battery under the bonnet, it's a Bluetooth connection, depending on the weather, which way the wind's blowing, all that sort of thing. They quote up to about 10 metres, but I can tell you I've had it working much further away when the bonnet's open. So if you're at camp and you've got the bonnet open, letting the engine cool down and whatever, and you want to have a look, you know, you're sitting, you know, with your frothy over the fire and you know, I don't know, whatever, and you want to check what your battery's at, or, you know, it might be during the day, you want to see if you've got to move your solar panels or whatever, um, have a look at your charge voltage. Anyway, so it does a heap of different things. You can see the voltage test, cranking test, whole heap of tests and whatever, and settings. You can set alarms and that for certain percentages. Let's have a look and see. Okay, so the power alarm, you can just move this, you can just move that to whatever you want, okay? So you can have an alarm go off at, at the moment it's on 60% and 40%. So it'll just give you a notification. And you can obviously turn these other notifications on and off. Probably do more with it than what I know how to do. Cranking test, obviously. Um, so there you go. Handy tool to have, I reckon. Um, anyway, I'll go out to the vehicle and I'll show you the little unit you've got to connect to the battery to make this work with this free app. All right, so here we go. This is on the 120. I think I'll be getting another one for the 150. Um, there you go, iDrive BM2. Um, of course, you can get it for the Apple or what do you call it, Android, what do you call Google Play. Anyway, simple, mate, positive, negative, connect it to the battery. I haven't even put a zip tie or anything on it yet. It was sitting fairly securely. I've just, you know, connected under the terminals. It just sat there pretty well, so. It's under the bonnet. I'm not sure how waterproof it is. I'd assume that it would be because it's in that wet area. Um, so I've washed the engine bay down a couple of times purposely to give it a test. No issues so far. Um, one way to find out is the way I think, and it's small money to invest to find out. I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it or not, but it's really cool. Um, one of my favourite toys at the moment. So just thought I'd provide that bit of information. Handy thing to have, cheap, easy to install. Seems to be reliable so far. As far as I know, it's fairly waterproof. I wouldn't hit it really hard with a pressure washer, but you know what I mean? I'll wash the engine. You can see the engine base clean. You know, we went on a trip recently, all, you know, dusty and dirty and whatever, and it's we like to keep things clean. And I think, it, I, think I purposely gave it a wet down not long after I installed it as well, a few weeks ago, just to see, to make sure that was okay. And it's been washed again so far, so good, so. Hope that's been of assistance. Happy days. See ya.